A local university is honoring our vets in a big way by providing tuition free degrees to veterans. And it's not just veterans. This amazing offer also now extends to the dependents and spouses. And joining us now live via Zoom to talk all about this exciting program and what it means for students is David Osman, the director of Robert Morris University's Center for Veterans and Military Families. David, thank you for joining me tonight. Oh, Megan, thank you so much for having me. It's absolutely a pleasure to be here. I mean, it's, it's a day after Marine Corps birthday. It's Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. I'm as happy as could be. This is so exciting. I want to start by asking who qualifies for this new award called the RMU Military Service Award? So uh, the, the main focus of this award is those who qualify for the post 9-11 GI Bill. Uh, so that'd be anyone who served essentially for, for 90 days of active duty after um, September 10th, um, uh, 2001. So really that's the vast of the past 20 years, those who've served any time on act, active duty. And that's by far, I think it's, it's over 90% of those who are using um, any sort of GI Bill benefits. But the really cool part about this program is that you don't have to have earned your full GI Bill, right? So uh, correct. So for, for the personal element GI Bill, it, it has tiers. So after um, 90 days of active duty, you qualify at the 50% level. So they'll pay you at 50% of, of, of a predetermined cap. Now, that often doesn't get you close to 100%. That's obviously it's only halfway to 100% cap, um, which can take um, basically three years, 36 months of active duty time. And especially for our, our local guard and reservist, they may never actually get there. Mm -hmm. um, so now this opens assets. Once they kind of reach that 50% level after those 90 days and, and, and they, they qualify for that 50%, that, that turns into 100% mm -hmm. at Robert Morris. And that's really a game changer. What sort of impact does RMU see this having on a service member or a veteran transitioning to civilian life looking to earn that degree? Well, so this this exponentially um, gets them into an institution of higher education at Robert Morris University and starts them down that you know path to to earning their degree and then you know moving on to uh, uh, career attainment, which is the most important. So the so the sooner they can do that, the faster they can do that. You know, the, they they increase their 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 earning potential because now they're at the hundred percent level. They've significantly um, reduced their debt and so forth. So um, this, this truly will impact the rest of our lives. Again, reduced debt, increased um, earning potential. You said this earlier at the Veterans Day luncheon where you announced this, but a lot of universities could have already done this, but they haven't. Why does RMU want to lead the way? Well, you know, the one thing we pride ourselves on is being, you know, big enough to matter, small enough to care. And we are military friendly, and, and we, we mean that in action and not just words. Um, and so we take this seriously. Um, it's top down from our, our, our university president, uh, Dr. Chris Howard, who's an Air Force veteran, all the way from the grassroots, uh, the, the people who work in these offices and process these benefits and admissions and so forth. Um, they're, they're, they're veterans are just from their hearts, military friendly. And it's just the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do for our veteran service members and, and, and military families. And that's why we did it, because that's what RMU does. Certainly making a huge impact. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, David.